Hello, my name's Stephen and I'm part of the research and development team in, uh, for Quitsegs. It's a, a stop smoking product, what we're going for the MHRA license. Right? And uh, currently I've been working on the, uh, the toxins, what's, what uh, electronic cigarettes produce. But for, just for a, a curiosity's sake, what I did was, I also put a cigarette, a natural traditional cigarette, one of these babies, on our puff testing machine. And I feel, I just wanted to make a video on it to show the people just what sort of stuff comes out of one of these. You know, it's quite important. Now, what we do, we've got a puff testing machine here, right? And what we do is use it to test the dosage and everything like that, what the, the uh, quid cigs is producing. You know what I mean? And we use little cellulose filters like this to take in the toxins and stuff so it can an be analysed by an independent laboratory. Okay. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is we've got some clear tubing here and we're going to attach this onto the inhale. Let's put it on that way. And then we're going to put a filter in there. This is a this is a small respiration pump. It's like an artificial lung, and we, we set it to a certain sort of CC volume. So anyway, what I do is put that in there now. Okay. That'll do. It's okay. Can you turn it on, please? See, look at the lights coming on. You can see the smoke going through the tube and it'll, it's coming out, you see. Well, it's not actually smoke, it's vapour. This is what makes them clean, you know? So it's an average of about 10, 10 to, tw I'd say 10 to 11 puffs for a normal standard cigarette. So we'll give it the same amount of puffs and then we'll uh, show you the results. Okay, I think that's about right. You just turn the machine off please. Thank you. Right, the first thing I want to show you is there's not any residue, it's just a, a little bit of uh, condensation, sort of water vapour. And inside the filter, as you can see, totally clean, you know. Well, there's nothing compared to cigarettes. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to put a, a, a normal standard traditional cigarette on, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the cigarette inside the tube and as you can see, it's completely clear. Nothing. Okay. So we put that on the inhale. And on the other one we'll put the cellulose filter. Could you turn the machine on please? Right, okay, now we're going to light it. Okay, the average amount of puffs is around about 9 or 10 puffs. As you can see, that it's starting to change colour. Okay, I'd say that's about it. Okay, let's have a look. Now then we'll put that in there. Now what I want to show you is this. 
this is what you've got out of one cigarette and if anybody's smoking 10 20 cigarettes a day a 40 day smoker i wouldn't like to think what their lungs are looking like this is one you know and the tube as you can see has changed color straight away that's with one cigarette you can see you can see the residue inside you know the liquid and that's coming up for one cigarette okay now if we if we compare it to a quit sig as you can see nothing in comparison at all you know so I'm not trying to I'm not trying to promote quit sigs or anything I'm just showing you I felt it was so important when I saw what sort of residue was coming out of a cigarette I just felt it was very important to show people what people are putting into the bodies when they're smoking cigarettes, traditional cigarettes. People shouldn't smoke anything really, in my belief. But uh, this just goes to show you what you've what you've got, you know. Uh, I think the well, there's no words can explain this. It's the, the the video just speaks for itself. What you you know what's in it. Okay, thank you for watching.